Okay, this is basic five four economics. And the topic is course A. I read teacher Ijoma. Okay, so um, course A. Do we have a first aid boss at home? Have you ever seen one? Ah, huh? I'm sure you know what I've seen one in the hospital. One or two offices you've been to. Even most banking halls, they have the first aid boss around you. If only you have noticed it. Okay, so today we want to look at what first aid means. Do you know what a first aid boss is? You know what a who a first aider is, okay? Qualities of a good first aider, features of first aid bosses, even the first aid boss contents, okay? So these are the things that we will be looking at, right? So to start with, what is first aid? When you hear first aid from the word first. It is that very first treatment, that immediate treatment that you give to an injured person before taking him or her to the hospital. Now, this immediate treatment, you are doing it, you're doing it to save life. For instance, if the blood is uh, the blood flow is much, you try to curtail it. Okay, you use the bandages. Sometimes in the absence of a First aid box, you see a uh, mommy woman tear her rubber or cut her clothes and tie it around the wound. Okay, what is she trying to do? She's trying to reduce the flow of blood. Sometimes mommy will quickly rush where we have aloe vera plant, cut it and use the gel around the cut. If it's a smaller one, okay, it's not every cut or injury that aloe vera can work in, right? I'm just giving you instances with what you already know because I know that this is what is obtainable in most of our homes, right? Okay, so whenever you hear first aid, this is what should come to your mind. It is that immediate treatment, that very first and immediate treatment that you give to a sick or injured person before taking him or her to the hospital, okay? Immediate treatment, right? to a sick or injured person before taking him or her to the hospital. Now the next one, we look at the age of first aid. Looks like I already mentioned it, right? Why do we administer first aid? Huh? Some might say it's a waste of time. Yes, and some might ask you, why must we do it? It's not just to rush the person to the hospital. Now, First aid is very, very important because one, it will save life. Yes, if you don't stop that excess flow of blood and you decide to move carelessly, rush the person to the hospital without holding that wound a little bit, what could happen? Before you get to the hospital, there might be total loss of blood and there's nothing you can do again about it. Okay, so now the first aim for administering first aid treatment is what? One is to save lives, okay? To save lives. Another one is to prevent the condition from getting worse, worse, okay? So there are two major aims of first aid. One, to save life. Two, to prevent the condition from getting worse. You control it a little bit, okay? Sometimes, uh, from administering first aid, by the time you get to the hospital, they tell you you have already done what is meant to be done and that you are okay. Some persons, after administering the first aid, they don't go to the hospital again. And that is to say that you have taken care of the problem. Okay, so first aid is important and I've given you the two aids of first aid. Now, the next one is this. First aid boss. First aid boss. What is a first aid bus? Okay, down there we have one in the school. I would have gone to carry it. Okay, but I know that many homes we, we are having it now, right? We are having it. Okay, if you don't have it, uh, then when you come to school, uh, so that time I will show you and uh, all. If you go to the chemist shop or the pharmacy, you can request to see a first aid bus and they will show you, right? Okay, now this boss in question 
It is a container. It is a container that contains all the items used for what? Administering first aid. It's a special kind of bus, specially designed to contain these items. Okay, let's look at what we have. We say it is a bus or a container where materials or items for treatment of injured persons are kept. Now, you are going to why, uh, why I said that you could have it at home, right? Because I know that mommy would always have something like that at home. It mustn't really be the one that they sell at the pharmacy and what have you. Most times, mommy will have a bucket, sometimes a small transparent bucket where she puts a bandage, paracetamol, and all these small, small items that we use to treat a sick person because every home is expected to have it. Every home you have to, you are expected to have it. It's more like an obligation. In case something happens, you use this to treat the wound a little bit and take the person to the hospital if there is need for that. Okay? So, I've told you it is a bus, it is a container where materials or items for treating a, an injured person where these materials are kept. Okay? Now, that is a first aid bus. Let's look at the features. What you'll be looking out for, what you are expecting to see in a first aid bus. When you hear that this is a first aid bus, there are things that should come to your mind that you are expecting to see. Okay? That is what we mean by features of first aid bus. Okay? Number one, it must be clean always. It must be clean always. Okay? Um, you don't need to expose it to death. You're using it to treat, and so you shouldn't in the process you contaminate the wound again. No, make sure it is clean always. Any material you use, if it's the one that you need to be washed, you wash. If it's the one that you need to clean it, you clean. If you need to disinfect, disinfect. You need to wash and uh, maybe if it's dry, you bring it back, you do that. Okay, so just make sure that it is clean always. Okay? Now the next one is this. It must have well-fitted lid or cover. Now you see where the buckets um, are being ruled out. Okay? You can use a bucket to put one or two things to treat people, to administer for skin. But then, it is not the appropriate container for it. Okay, because most of these buckets, their covers are not strong. It can easily pull up. Okay, and okay, let's assume you're carrying it um, carelessly and it, it, it falls on the floor. What will happen? It will open. The, the bottles inside, the breakables will break, right? Uh, the liquids, they will pour. And what have you. And so, every um, first egg box is expected to do what? To have a well fitted lid or cover. It shouldn't be one that can easily what, fall off. No, it should be well fitted. You don't use the cover for another first aid board to cover another. You make sure you're using the cover for each of the first aid board buses. Now, this will um, help it in a case where it shakes, uh, or you're running, or it falls on the ground, it will not open. Okay, that's why you need to do it for me to be tight and well covered. Now, another one is to keep things dry. Make sure that your first aid board is one that is able to keep things dry. Because we have liquid, like the methylated spirits and what have you. Okay, if you have such a first aid board that, um, you know now, when we have liquids, uh, and this is the cover of the uh, of, of the bottle. It, it's, a, it's expected to stand this way. Now, if your first aid box is the one that doesn't have provision for that, what will happen? Uh, when you place the liquid, it will actually fall off on its own, and it will pour right, and it will not. It will make it not to be dry again, right? Okay, so that is another feature. Another one is partition into compartments. Okay, that is why, that is why your, um, the buckets are not usually, are not classified as a first aid board. That's why we use 
verse or container. We are not calling it first aid bucket, right? Yes, because we are is expected that a good first aid box comes in partitioned compartments. Eh? You, if you see a first aid box, you have a corner. This is something is used to partition it. Another one is used to partition it, and each of these um, compartments have what you keep there, right? There's one for bandage, there's one for plaster, there's another one for methylated spirit, the one for scissors is there. Okay, so that is a feature of a first aid box. This is what is expected. When we say, um, and so what I mean is this, if this is one side of the box, you'll be seeing it this way. Uh, you could have something like this and this way, right? Now, each of them have the material that it is meant for. This one here could be for your scissors, right? For your tropical, and then this one could be for plaster and what have you. So, that is that for a good work, first aid work. We have another one. It must have a good fastener for safety. Have you observed this? And there are some first aid work that you, you attach to the walls. Have you noticed that? Something is holding it. Now, it must have a good fastener for safety. It's not one that will not last um, very well. Now, when you keep it, the first aid box will fall off on its own again. Now, it will damage the contents, right? So, if it's a type that you're carrying, that is designed for carrying, yes. Some of them, they design it that you carry like your handbag. Some, they design it that you carry like school bag. Some, they design it that you hang them or apply them to the wall. So, in either cases, the fastener has to be a good one so that it can never fall off on its own. Once that happens, it should not be the contents, right? And so we don't pray for that. So we have to do everything possible to ensure what? Safety. Okay? Now, another one is this. Um, coming over here, we are going to leave the contents of first aid words and their uses. There are so many of them, but we are going to list a few. Okay? Uh, so, um, you help me list the remaining. You can do that for me. Yes, I've listed this. So, uh, when else you come in contact with the first aid box, okay? Um, list the one that I've not listed. And that would be very, very nice. Okay, so let's look at what we have here. Uh, we have iodine, we have scissors, we have plaster, we have panadol, we have one again, soaps. And we have a uh, ditto, which I wrote in brackets, it's a fine time. Okay? Sometimes it's not ditto, you could have set so, right? And then other, other disinfectants, you, you know, the different brand names, okay? They are all what? Disinfectants, okay? Another one is thermometer and then your hand on. So what do we use iodine for? Use it to treat wounds, right? And it curtails for the flow of blood. What about scissors? To cut, right? Could be cutting plaster. We have razor to use razor to scrape. Yes. In the cases where someone has an injury here, okay? You cannot treat that uh, injury with hairs on it. No matter how long your hair is, you do what? You scrape it. You scrape it with the scissors. With the razor, sorry, and then you treat the wound. Okay, you're not a best aid. I'm not telling you for you to do it, though. I'm just explaining. Mm -hmm. So, we have another one we have Panadol or Prestamol or any of the painkillers. So, they are just there to relieve you of the things, right? Mm -hmm. Because sometimes it could be a blow, mm -hmm. you could fall on the floor from a height. Huh? So, despite the injury, you could be feeling pains. Okay, so that's why it is included in the first aid box. Now, what this box needs to do is to relieve pains, okay? Now, there is another one, we have soap. Use it to wash the wound. Wash your hands, right? Okay. Now, we have a thermometer to check temperature. Yes. Okay. And another one, we have hand towel to dry your hands, right? After washing it. Okay, so... Um, there are so many others. You have um, 
you have a plus sign, right? You used to roll around your wound, you have the cutting wound, you used to treat the wound, right? And so many of them, so many of them. Now, looking at the first header, yes, we looked at the first aid box, what it means, right? Then we look at the various contents of the first aid box, right? Now, who is a first aider? Uh, because I'm teaching it now, I'm not expecting you at home to do it. Please, oh, don't go and practice it at home until you become a first aider. You need to be trained. Yes, okay? Uh, so, for a first aider, who is a first aider? Okay, now, I'm going to say a person that gives attention or indigent care to someone who is sick or injured before the person is taken to the hospital for proper medical treatment. Now that person is a first aider. Okay? Why I said it's not for you is this. You can actually do it when you are properly trained on it, right? But some is not and um, you don't use your health to play. Okay, so there are some certain things that you need to know how to do. Like when we look at the qualities of a first aider, you understand better. Now, a first aider is that person that administers this immediate treatment that we are talking about. A first aider is the person that administers the first aid, the first aid treatment. A first aider is a person that administers or gives the immediate treatment to a sick or injured person before taking that person to the hospital for um, treatment or proper medication. Okay? That is the first error. Now, what are those things that you have to check if you possess or if you have, or if um, the person that claims to be a first error possesses before you say that, that person is a good first aider. What are those features that you look out for? What are the qualities of a good first aider? One, you don't have to be carried away by emotions. Yes. If you are that type of person that once you see full of blood or you get to an accident scene, you throw yourself on the ground, you cry and cry and cry and cry and cry. No, you cannot be a first aider. You better start now to learn it. Okay, so you need to know how to control your emotions. A good first aider has to be able to control his or her emotions. Because if you're coming to treat someone that is in pain, and you too, you are crying, what do you expect the person to do? That means you are not a good first aider, right? Now, a good first aider, you have to be smart. You have to be calm. You have to be fast too. To start with, you have to have a basic knowledge of administering first aid treatments. That is where we say you have to be trained on it, right? Now, when you have this basic knowledge, first you control your emotions. Now you have to be smart and you have to be fast. Yes, if you don't know what you're doing, and then you're still doing, should I get this? Mm, maybe you walk, you you walk a, 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 like a not a, a non serious person. You take you so time to pick one object from the first aid box. It usually take you another five minutes to get to the patient, and you know slowly sleep. You are not a good first aider. Okay. Now I will really you some of them. Yeah, I said you have to have basic knowledge of it, right? Be a fast thinker. Hmm. So, when they are giving you the basic knowledge, they will tell you symptoms that you see and what you ought to do. Okay? There are words that you, you see that, okay, fasting time. You look out for certain things. Is the person having breathing issue? If no, you quickly look out, look out for um, various injuries. Is there any flow of blood anywhere? Is there fracture? Is there dislocation? You know that if it is a case of fracture, you don't move that person at all. If there is broken bones and what have you, okay? So there are things that you look at. That's why I said number one, you need to have basic knowledge of administering what first aid treatment. Now think fast. 
you have been empowered with the knowledge. You know the things that you're looking out for. And when you see this one, what to do next? When you notice this, what to do next? When you notice this, what to do? Okay? So that's why I say you have to be a fast thinker. Now, another one is what? You have to be smart. Be smart about it. Okay? It's not the one that you do when you tie your 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 your, your rafa key. But that's why when you see them in the field, they dress smart. Have you seen those, those people cross people before? I have. So another one is what they have to be calm and focus. It's not the one you're doing, your phone is ringing. You take your phone, hello, Auntie, how are you? How are you? I am coming, Auntie. You put your phone, no. If you're a good phone, you don't do what so. These are things you look out for. To know a good phone, you know. Now, another one, I've made mention of this. You have to control your emotions, okay? So you don't come to administer first aid treatment and you're crying. And you're shouting, hey, hey, mom, hey, mom. hey, if you're doing that, what would that person do? So you don't do it at all, okay? You learn to control your emotions, huh? okay? So um, we talked about um, what first aid is, and we say the immediate treatment given to a sick or injured person, right? Before taking the person to the hospital. Aims of first aid. To save life, prevent condition from getting worse. Okay, we looked at first aid board, that container of us we used to give these various materials or items. Features, it has to be clean always, well fitted lid and cover, partitioned, be a good fastener for safety. Now we mentioned the items, we said what they are used for, scissors for cutting, plaster for covering our wounds, okay? Um, Panadol, paracetamol for uh, painkillers, we have soap for washing wounds, washing our hands, disinfectant, again, you add it to the water you use for cleaning of wounds and all that. Thermometer to check the temperature, now the hands are too to dry your hands. There are so many other like reso I do not have, right? Okay, and other ones. So, who a first aider is, that person that administers that word treatment okay there we mentioned the qualities of a good first aider you have to have the basic knowledge be a fast thinker you're calm you're composed you're focused okay uh, and you're smart about it and then don't be carried away by emotions okay okay this is your homework right so I expect you to do this for me and you submit. Okay, remember I said other um, first aid board contents, those materials that I did not mention, when you come, and remember, come across any, any other one, uh, you know the ones that I've not mentioned, right? Like resin and all that. So I still expect you to add it and join into this, right? And then you submit, okay? Thank you.